Hey everybody, just a quick video today on the Stringify transformation in mapping data flows available both in Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse Analytics. The Stringify transformation will take complex data types, take those values in your data flow and will convert them to string for you. And let's jump into a quick example. On the design surface, I have the source that is a REST API. Let's take a look at that. It is going to be pulling weather data. So I'm going out to api.weather.gov and when I do that, and I send a request for data, this is what I get back. I get back a body, which is a structure with a bunch of other properties that are also complex data types inside of it. What I really want to do is I want to get at the weather forecast found inside the properties structure inside the body in the periods array. So actually, I just want, I'm just going to take the entire periods array and turn that into a string so I can then take that string, store it into a CSV file so I can send that weather data as a flat file output because in CSV I can't really store complex or, or maintain that fidelity of a complex data type. So the super simple way to go is to click on the plus sign after that um, REST API source and to pick Stringify. Stringify you'll find down here under formatters. We we'll also have flatten to unroll arrays. We have parse to be able to take embedded complex types and turn those into native complex types. And then we have stringify that will take a complex type and turn that into a string for you. Very simple. You take your, you take your stringify transformation, you go under settings. And all you're going to be able to have to do is pick an existing column to overwrite or a new column. In my case, I typed in my data. I'm going to create a new column called my data. And then it's going to be a stringified version of body.properties.peers that I showed you before in the source. If you click on expression builder, you will see that you can pick the complex types within your input schema. So uh, body was the top level structure, properties, and then period. So if I click on that, I get the complex property that I wish to stringify. After that, you're now going to have that in part of your, as part of your metadata. So in my incoming metadata to my next transformation, you will see my new data as a string and if we look at that, by the way, what I'm doing here is I'm using a select transformation to say all I actually want to do is send out that um, my data periods forecast as a column, as a data called context to my CSV file. So in that CSV file, I just keep the mapping as auto mapping. I get just that one context column. And if I look at data preview on that, you will see the stringified version of the forecast complex data. And there it is as a plain string. And that's it. That's all you have to do to use Stringify. Thanks for watching.